变得重担。Uh, she needed a, a friend. She needed loved ones. The the Bolings、uh, loved her dearly, and and、uh, and we we loved her dearly. Because we benefit so much from their sweet attitude and their willingness to give up themselves unselfishly in this situation, and so our response is is a selfish one too. But you know we have. Gained so much from this experience too. 小燕的康复过程很长，两个半月以后不再发烧，半年以后才完全恢复，重返讲台。病好后，吴小燕换了一个学区，主管的学监非常支持她的工作。小燕终于把憋了很久的力气使了出来。他渐渐地获得了学生们的喜爱。一起来听。十四也不是四十。他是我的同学。Um, she seemed very happy and very outspoken. She lets us do Chinese activities like jianzi and writing calligraphy and using chopsticks and just different things. And she actually gets us in the culture. 我爱讲吗？我爱吴老师。我觉得我的美国孩子非常非常好。我的学生就是说，老师你一定要回来。然后如果你不能走路的话，我们就用轮椅推着你。热情善良的接待家庭，活泼率真的美国孩子，促使小燕下决心，第三年继续在俄克拉荷马州完成国际汉语教师志愿者的工作。China's rising importance on the world stage, and so we felt it was important to augment our existing foreign language options with the Chinese language, so that students felt more comfortable with the Chinese culture and understood、uh, the Chinese perspective in thinking about their future opportunities in post-secondary education. From 2004 to 2009, there were 666 international Chinese teachers. 在美国教授汉语，在世界大部分人的眼里，汉语真的太难学了。没有人否认方块字的均衡和美丽，但横平竖直难倒了无数双握笔的手。没有人否认中国古典巨著的精妙和伟大，但如何精确翻译和正确朗读，无数的语言学家也费尽心思。但正是这样一种难学的语言，正在世界范围掀起了学习的热潮。除了中国经济快速发展，使各国民众看到了新的希望和机遇，不能不说是中国文化的魅力将他们吸引到了一起。Well, I think students want to learn Chinese because they respect the Chinese culture. Uh, they respect Chinese history.、Uh, they respect the new China and its position and strength in the world, and they recognize that there will be much more exchange between、uh, the United States and China. Now, due to Chinese education in the United States being more popular, the people who are learning Chinese are more likely to be more and more exposed to the Chinese culture. I think it is also a matter of cultural exchange. 对于促进两国关系发展是非常重要。一种文明和文化真正的强大，不在于一时的声势浩大和表面上的富丽堂皇，而在于能否持久深入的滋润普通人的心田，能否以平和宽广的胸襟与不同者沟通学习，取长补短，不断的完善自身，丰富自身。中华文化，特别是儒家思想，和为贵，和而不同，求同存异的理念，也让越来越多的外国朋友体会到中华文化海纳百川、有容乃大的风格。我带来了中国的文化，五千年的文化，到了美国，到了美国的课堂，同时我也汲取了西方文化的营养。我们愿意主动的去靠近别人。让人家更多的了解我们。当你一旦去了解对方、了解彼此，让人就是说都会有一个共同的话题。
，那么人与人之间的沟通就会变得更加容易了。友谊的种子正是在年轻这代心理播种下来的。通过我们，我们这些汉语老师，我们让他呢打开这扇门，让他了解中国。因为是志愿，那么就意味着你需要有奉献精神，能够有机会让美国的人民通过我去了解中国，了解汉语，而且我能够帮助他们去学习这一门语言，让他们能够运用这个语言，那我就觉得非常的骄傲。